welcome to my shop. This is Wickline Customs. My name is Curtis Wickline. My shop is roughly 27 foot by 40 foot. I do various artisan work in here from woodworking to metalworking to airbrushing to painting to you name it. I'm going to start on this side. Over here is my metalworking shop. Here is just a collection of stuff just sitting there all over the place. But some of the bins have extra electronical wires and doodads and over there's a plumbing doodads and hardware and things like that. Here you'll see I have a scroll bending tool that I use quite often. This is a burn table where I use the plasma cutter on it. And a lot of times I can take these slots out to burn something out. This is a fitting table, which I love. As you can see, it does collect a lot of rust, but occasionally when I'm in the mood for grinding, I grind that down and smooth it out. But it has all your dog holes and clamps and different magnet pieces that stick on there to keep your stuff square and strapped down. Over here, you'll see I got a bench with all my various grinding tools and various other clamps cutting tools and hammers and what whatnot. So that's where I keep all that. Over here is all my scrap bins. All my scrap stuff, all my scrap steel. People call it scrap, but I call it potential art. Over here is some overstock, some corner clamps, some uh, shaping tools. Up here is overstock different various things all the way up to the top there over here I have a grinder my Delta grinder this is primarily used for metal area I got a white Ryobi combination belt this sander this is primarily used for the metal shop up here you'll see all my my grinders die grinders air grinders you name it I got it up here Oh my, I got another hose connected here. My welding helmets and things like that. Here I have my Lincoln welder. It's a MIG welder with the argon gas, but I can switch it over to flux core if I need to. We got a plasma cutter down below. Around here I have a big metal bench for working metal. I got a big plate, heavy plate here for banging and things like that flattening here I have an anvil big big anvil love that anvil over here this is a sheet metal bending tool and underneath this I carry things like my chop saw various other things I have also a, a mini metal lathe underneath there some more bending tools down there uh, I also keep my chainsaw and other things down there. Work back around this way and we'll start the tour into the woodworking shop. Here in the woodworking shop, you'll see that I got my oscillating sander. I love this thing. It gets you it get used gets used every day. Every day I generally just use the, the spindle sander that has comes with a belt sander attachment but I don't use that very often because I have the small mini belt sander that's from Harbor Freight I love this thing not only is it good for sanding down small intricate parts but it's also good for using in the metal department if I want to sharpen a blade or anything like that this thing works beautiful here's my porta cable sander this thing gets used I use the belt sander on this more than I do the disc sander but it's there if I need it but this thing is a beast, and I love it. On this side, you'll see there's like kind of an island here, and it's a bench that goes all along this side and goes into my table saw. And the reason for that is because underneath all this is duct work for my dust collection that runs right up out here out of the table and up and over and up to here. And that there is a Harbor Freight but I took all the dust bag and everything off and I put it on a cyclone system 
It goes into that, the big stuff goes in the garbage can, and the fine stuff goes out that white elbow up there to another area. So that's all centrally located. And the ductwork also runs down across that side to a small island right there with a router table and bandsaw. Moving on, on this side of the bench is my old, let's say this thing's 20, about 20 years old. It's my lathe. I love it. I don't turn as much as I used to, but I still do to some turning every now and then. But it's a five speed, one horsepower. It's uh, you have to adjust the belt itself and it gives you a little different speeds and stuff like that, which I love that part because you never know when you need that. Coming along this bench, my little Wickline Customs logo. This is the workhorse of the whole shop right here. This is my Jet 1.5 horsepower hybrid, which is cabinet slash, not cabinet, whatever they call their hybrid. But it has a cast iron top on it. This thing is heavy, heavy, heavy. It don't move. It's solid. But this thing is primarily my biggest, biggest tool that I use on a daily basis. It gets more work, more use than any tool in this shop. I, I like to get my more precision cuts out of this than I would get out of my miter saws. Although I have a couple miter saws, I still get all my more and more precision cuts from here. So moving on, I have an eight foot outfeed table, which is also my main center of the building bench, workbench. Underneath I have much storage. I have below here, I have a Craftsman five and eighth horsepower joiner planer, or seven seven eighths horsepower five and eight, five and an eighth joiner planer, which doesn't see much use to that. It's too small. I like to upgrade that someday to a larger one. Some extra storage I built in here for dial rods and little flat pieces and what have you, thin pieces. Underneath here I have another skill portable table saw that I pull out and keep dado bits on. Coming around this side, you see that's my planer, which my planer I pull out and I put onto this custom built table here, which has T-tracks where I can bolt down. And way over there is a piece that I put in there to help me keep from getting Skypes. It's in a flat planed out piece. But as you can see, I use the T-track this way where I clamp down things like this little portable hand miter saw. To give you a small thing, idea of what I do in my shop, I have a contract with a company that gets uh, wholesale products off me. And what they are, they're catechisms. And what the catechisms do is they, I build these unassembled, the children assemble them, and they get taught the parables of the Bible. I love this job because I love the Lord and I love to see children learning about the Lord. So this one is called the forgiving father. You know, I cut them out out of big sheets of plywood and I cut them all down and cut all these individual, individual pieces out and it gets shipped and it gets comes with a kit on how to put it together. This is the presentation temple presentation temple. This is the, the merchant house. The pearl of great price. Most of them all come out. This is a chasuble stand for a robe. Most of it all comes out and cups. I cut it out into blanks like this, and then from there I work on around my other uh, all around this side, cutting out all my individual walls and and what have you, doorways and route routering the rabbits out and things like that. But this table here, I love this table also because it's on wheels, it's portable, and it sits right in the center of this side of the shop. And what's nice is I could take this table and slide it up there against the table saw on this side. And it gives me a four inch overhang on this side from when I'm pushing plywood. Majority of the plywood I get comes in five foot by five foot sheets and I use three eighths birch plywood the most. But what's nice is I can shove that, I can start out with a, say, an 8 or 10 inch rip on that side and have all that hanging over it, but nothing flopping. It's not, and I don't have to use the, 
the the tripods and things like that to to try to keep them up. It, this table works beautiful for that. So work myself around here. Come down this side. I got more storage on this side here. I have a, this is a sanding box. I just hook a vacuum to it. Sit, go sand it away. This is just for assembly. It's got this non-slip material on it, so you have this on here. You can shove on that and it won't slip. On this here, I always keep the tools that I grab the most, like pens and measuring tools, metrics, and I think things like that. Little sanding pads, my pin nailer. These are all my drawings and things for, for the dioramas. Moving down here, underneath I have sandpaper storage. Underneath here, lots of sandpaper storage. Moving on, this tool down here is a Rockwell. This tool, I love this tool because it takes the place sometimes of the scroll saw because all it is is a jigsaw flipped upside down. So when you want to cut a small window out, it's easier to just drill a hole, shove the hole down over that, and just cut the square window out. So on this side of the bench, now mind you, on the other side was my lathe. On this side, I have a... A seven and a quarter, seven and a quarter Ryobi miter saw, which gets much much use. It's for cutting smaller pieces or dowel rods or what have you, and things like that. This is my nine inch bench top saw from Harbor Freight. I love this thing. This is one of my favorite tools. Sometimes I do a lot more scrolling work on this than I do then on my actual scroll saw. This is a porter cable scroll saw. I love this scroll saw, but it doesn't get as much use as I used to because I take the place of this this tool here with the Rockwell underneath. Moving along the wall here, I have my drill press. It's another Harbor Freight tool. I know a lot of people have bad reviews on Harbor Freight tools, but of all the tools that I have, I, I don't have no complaints. As a matter of fact, up here, way up there on that shelf is a 12 inch miter saw. It's, it's a Chicago. It was a, a product that Harbor Freight sold many, 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 many years ago. I think that saw is probably about 16, 17 years old and it still works. If you could see Behind there, it's a portable miter saw table, the rack that I could take, and I take that and put that saw on it when I got to go out on the field to work. It works beautiful. If it's just for cutting stock, you're good. On this wall, you see all my various hand tools and things like that, and everything like from drill bits and hole saws for the drill press, all my drills and battery chargers i keep various blades hanging here extension cords hanging here a lot of jig parts i love miles craft template parts and pieces and stuff i love their stuff so over here i got a lot of routers i got some orbital sander i got my oscillating tool i got my dremel tools all on this shelf some 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 routers here this is the porta cable an old uh, craftsman this craftsman was my first router i ever bought for myself which was probably about 17 years ago that's how old that sucker is i got my bosch plunge router router with the different bits different things this thing here i love this thing too this is a miles craft this is a basically a portable drill press you put it in there it has a clunk you can plunge with it and everything like that. That's, it's great. It's great. Some some little clamps here. You know, all my nail nails and nail guns. All that's all up here. All my sanders, different saws down here. Jig saws, circular saw, awesome. My uh, sawzalls, things like that. A lot more storage down below. Here is my cabinet that I love it says I am that I am Exodus 314 thank you Jesus and here is just some random storage tape auto mask packing material all that stuff 
Moving along, up here is just some storage here. Up here is packaging storage. This little island where this ductwork comes down, this is my 10 inch bandsaw, which gets much use. Behind it, I have my router table. This is an oldie but a goodie. It's just a basic table. You can put any router that you want in there. At the moment, I have a skill router in there. But this is where I do a lot of my rabbiting for the dioramas. This is generally set for its own thing. You see the American flag and the little door here. That is what I call a clean room. It has dust collection in there, but it's more of a dust collection to outside. It's a vent, a filtered vent, so that whenever I'm doing epoxy, if I'm doing any clear coats, any, any you know, polyurethanes or anything, it's best to do it in there. I do all the sanding and dirty work out here, and I put it in there to do all the clean work. Moving along here, you'll see my buffer and another air hose with a lot of water traps and things like that. And up here, of course, everybody's got to have their clamp rack, which I have lots of clamps, and you can never have enough. And up there is my pipe clamps. So that's where I keep all that. Do a wood burner to heat the place. This is a little drafting table where I do some designing and things like that, and then some overstock, some art, art pieces and stuff like that. I do carry a lot of paint brushes and artisan tools but they stay more mostly in this room in another toolbox in there which that's full of junk so i don't really want to show you right now <laughs> but this is my tool station this is my toolbox with regular you know, just wrenches and things like that but this is tools that I, I grab readily for the wood shop this is all my carving tools and all my chisels and things like that uh, this drawer here houses all my measuring tools and precision tools and some electrical working tools. So, all my different saws, my coping saws, my Japanese saws, what have you. This is my lathe tools. I got this here I houses all my Forstner bits, all my router bits, all that. You name it, it's in there. Moving on, this is just a little table where we do a little, might do some little trinket work here, do some little hand painting here and things like that. Above there's all kinds of storage, just, just a catch-all, obviously. <laughs> Got my scriptures that I like to read and have handy every now and then to motivate me. I have all my overstock sandpaper, and it's mainly stuff that I grab more frequently, I have other places I store it, but this is where I want to grab something right now. Dust mask, tape, sandpaper, what, what have you. All my leveling tools and straight tools, all my straight edges, all right here along this one, right here. Panning around this side is another dust collector. That's a Harbor Freight one, which I love it. It's got, I also have it on a cyclone system in the can down here. And it primarily runs that miter saw, which is also a Harbor Freight tool, which I do love. Might have a, smoke, a couple small little complaints, but nothing major. And I'm, I'd say my major complaint is the fact that when you want to tighten down this, this knob here, it moves slightly. That's a little disconcerting, but I do more of my precision cutting on the table saw. So this is mainly just for rough cutting, but I built this wood bench. This is with some of my split wood storage underneath. I got a scrap wood bin down there, but this is all a lot of, some of this is a lot of solid oak and some parts like that, but it's my wood rack. Up here you can see all the different woods I have, that shelf there, that shelf there. Yes, I do like to have vertical storage sometimes, but because it's always that case where you want that bottom, the board on the bottom. So that's kind of a, a bummer. So that's where that, that's with all my wood storage. This is what I call my little break room. So just my little, got some old barber chairs that I sit here and take my little breaks and 
if I have company or somebody visiting, I uh, sit here. So then uh, these little pockets here have uh, little cutoffs and pieces in here, some turning pieces and just some overstock things over here, big chunks of wood or things that I might have a use for someday or going to do something with someday, you know. Following down around here, this is all my plywood storage in here. And this is the cart that it's sitting on is actually the cart that that Harbor Freight dust collector sat on. So what I did was I made it into a rack system for all my plywoods. And all I have to do is grab a hold of here and pull it out because it's on wheels. And then I can see to grab all my plywood. So I got half inch, three eighths, quarter inch, eighth inch. But yeah, what's nice and convenient, I can pull that away from the wall, it's on wheels. Then there you go. And then all I have to do is just give it a good shove. Back against the wall it goes. And that's it. So, go come back here. One little last place to show you. And this would be my storage room. In here. One thing about this garage, when I bought it, it had this hundred and some gallon compressor in here. And it's plumbed throughout the whole building. And that's why you'll see there's various stations, like right here, of air hoses. And the other different stations I showed you, one over there, one there. But this is all my overstock. This is a small little area. i got various spray paints, so all my stains, my epoxies that I work with. All my airbrush equipment. I am an airbrush artist. Much paints. All my spray guns and airbrush guns. This is all my cleaners, glues, putties, you name it. Just some random junk, random junk, random junk. Just a bunch of stuff. Overstock paint cans here. Got a pancake compressor that I take out on a road. Generator in case I need it. Got to have a little fridge. And every shop's not complete without a urinal. <laughs> Got to have a urinal. Another little storage area here where I keep certain things that I use for woodworking or metalworking, like stickers and templates and things like that. And yeah, you name it, like little dowel pieces and just little doodads here and there. And that's it. I'm gonna stand here and pan around to show you. Way over in this area is where I come in at on this side over here. And this is just more of a collect all area. You'll see that there's like a uh, an arbor that I'm sitting there I'm, I'm, I'm working at sitting there I'm working on for a customer this here is a bin for all kinds of hardware and things like that but the yellow line is when you know if I'm working on some of the power tools that I don't want anybody to step aside they they have to stand on that side of the yellow line with the safety glasses but I want to thank you for watching this tour and God bless and hope to see you soon with more videos. And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men knowing that the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Christ. Amen.